developing news uh, happening right now in Mont Eagle. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is giving an update now on that officer involved shooting. Let's listen in as they give new details. At the request of 12th District Attorney General Michael Taylor, TBI Special Agents continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding an officer involved shooting that occurred this afternoon in Franklin County. Preliminary information indicates the incident began shortly before 2 o'clock this afternoon when authorities received via 911 a troubling call from an individual who indicated he was in the woods in Franklin County with a firearm. Law enforcement officers began to search for the individual, quickly locating him on Deep Woods Road. We have been told a total of six law enforcement officers tried to negotiate with the individual for a short period. However, the situation escalated. The TBI is working to verify reports indicating the subject raised his weapon and fired upon the officers, resulting in as many as five of the six officers returning fire, striking the subject. Medics subsequently rushed the subject to a Sewanee hospital, where he later died. The five officers represent three different departments, two from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, two from the Mon Eagle Police Department, and one from Sewanee. The TBI has positively identified the deceased individual. However, we will not release that information until we have appropriately notified his next of kin. We're working to do so right now. We will also, per our policies, not identify the officers involved in this matter. Instead, we will defer questions of that nature to their respective departments. Here's what happens next. The TBI has agents and a team of forensic scientists on the scene to gather the relevant evidence and interviews. We will compile all of that information into a set of facts we will submit as available to the District Attorney General for his further review and consideration. It's important to note in this and every TBI investigation, our agency only acts as fact finders. The sole decision as to whether the officer's actions were justified rests only with the District Attorney General. Any questions? You said six officers, but five fire shots, the one that right. did the fire, where were they from? It's my understanding they were from the Sheriff's Office. Okay, so there were three from the Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Were you aware of the school that was on lockdown also? I'm unaware of that. Was the victim, is he somebody who was local to the area? We're not going to divulge that. And that, that is uh, Josh Again. Devine with the uh, Tennessee uh, Bureau of Investigation there. To recap what he said, uh, a, fall, a call came in around 2 o'clock this afternoon to uh, 911, a man in the woods uh, with a firearm in the woods. Uh, officers responded there. Uh, we believe around six officers responded, and there was some exchange of gunfire, and five officers fired their weapons. Right. The TBI says they're still verifying that the man didn't need race his weapon at officers and right. fire first five of those six officers did return fire according to the TBI that man was taken to the hospital where they did say that he later died so we now know that the one person who called 911 has right. passed away at a hospital the TBI is still investigating exactly what happened they have forensic scientists on the scene to gather those details and this all happened uh, near Mont Eagle on Deep Woods Road we have a reporter on scene a crew there on scene we'll have much more on this throughout the evening.